get as good a reading over the phone as you can, can talking with a person? Yes, because you see, I have psychics that specialize, and that's very important. You know, you hear a lot about all these other psychic hotlines that are out there, and, yes. and I, I really haven't been that happy with them. Yes. But these people are so wonderful, because I did, I went around, I checked them out. And you said that they do specialize and... Well, you see, everybody has a different forte. You have to realize that people use the word, the catch word psychic. Mm -hmm. But not everybody does the same thing. Some right. people are astrologers, some are numerologists, some, some do tarot cards. I mean, people have a different, me uh, different way to get to the same result. Mm -hmm. And so all these wonderful people specialize in something else. And because we're like family, there's no egos involved here. Everybody wants to help. They are sincere, they are caring. They really want to help the people. Mm -hmm. And so if they get a call and they think, well, gee, this isn't something that I do, they'll turn it over to somebody else. Mm -hmm. and, and, they, and they follow up. People call back again and again and again because they are so happy. And they say, well, I want the specific person or that person, and right. they get them. And that's why, oh, my God, the testimonials. Thousands of people have called in. You've probably watched my commercials. I mean, they're just all right. over the place. Okay people really are happy. And you can call back and ask for the same psychic yes. if you need to. Oh, if yes. you develop a relationship with one of them. Absolutely, absolutely. And and we have, and uh, that's why I said I'm really, I am so excited about it, and I'm very pleased and very happy with my, my psychic. Uh -huh. Now let's meet three of Cabrina's special psychics as we reenact the actual experiences of hotline callers. First, the case of the lost and found. Hi, my name is Betty. And I've lost my keys. Oh, no. Betty called me from Georgia. She was a sweet woman who was frantically looking for her car keys. She promised her daughter that she would pick up her grandchild from preschool. And the school was about to close. I first reassured her I would do anything I could to help her find her keys and calmed her down by thanking her for putting her trust in my abilities. She started to relax immediately. I was able to visualize her home. I started to guide Betty along. I asked her to walk down a hallway to a bedroom, enter the room, and approach the nightstand next to the bed. She'll find the keys, not on the nightstand, but alongside one of the legs. There they are. Betty came back to the phone, shocked and relieved to find the keys, thanking me over and over. I told her she should take her time now and drive safely to get her grandchild. She could ask for me any time in the future, and I'd be glad to help her out whenever she needed it. Great stuff. You can't remember where you put something? Just remember to call Cabrina's psychic answer. Next, see how Obsidian helped a man start down the road to success. A lot of the calls I get are for people looking for jobs. Times are tough right now, and I'm really happy to help by doing something I call remote sensing. A man named Henry called me from the city and said he was having a very hard time trying to find a job. He'd been searching through the one ads, applying wherever he could, but with no luck for over three months. Now, Henry, I started describing a locale where a good job was actually waiting for Henry, a place where his personality and his talents would find an ideal job fit. He jotted down a description of where I wanted him to go and took the notes with him in his car that very same day. He knew his neighborhood really well, so he was able to follow just by the description of the train as I psychically traveled down the streets in his own town. The corners and buildings I described started to make sense to him as he followed his own personal treasure map. He turned in intersections marked by exact signs I'd already seen in my mind. Finally, he drove up to the restaurant I told him about and decided that this was the place that I described to him. He went in, asked to speak to the manager, and inquired about any job opportunities. The manager said he just happened to be looking for someone and had